Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kickback here with another Unlimited Time Classic video. And in today's video, guys, I'm going over the top 10 rarest items in Animal Jam. But before I actually get into it, I just want to point out that 79% of people watching this video are unsubscribed. So I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. I do these videos all the time. I have a couple upcoming top 10 videos after this one that you would probably also be interested in. So please make sure to subscribe when notifications on if you are interested in these types of videos. But yeah, let's just get right into the top 10. <laughs> So at number 10 here is the Blackout Elf Tail Armor, and this item is quite the obscure item here. According to the owner, it was actually recovered to them from AJHQ, and they got it back in this glitched variant of the Elf Tail Armor. Now it doesn't have a diamond icon on it, so it means that it was originally one of the beta variants and it must be glitched, but it is one of a kind, and the owner of this is Cupcake Hoarder, which is inactive, and they've expressed that they are aren't going to be trading it. Other information surrounding this item is that I got into the game around a little over two years ago at this point, and I bet if the owner did put it up for trade, they would get a lot of offers with high amounts of worth being offered to them, and that's why we place it here at number 10. Number 9 on this list are Butterfly Earrings. Now, this item was given out in a Almo Jam contest on the French servers of the game, I believe, a little over a couple years ago at this point. It's currently three of a kind, and one of the owners are only active, and a lot of people don't actually think this is rare because it looks so similar to some store items that are already butterfly themed, and most people probably won't even know about this on this list. But due to its limited amount of quantity in the game, that's what makes it place here at number 9. Number 8 on this list is the Flower Brooch, and this was also an item given out on an Almajam French contest. This item is currently two of a kind, and only with one active owner on the game. And obviously, as I just said near the start there, this was given out as a prize in a French contest a couple years ago. And due to the rarity of this item, this is what makes it place at number 8 on this list. Place at number 7 on this list is the Heart Pendant, which is another item from the French contest that was awarded to a winner of the contest, obviously. There is currently only one of these in the game, making it a one-of-a-kind item, and the only owner of this item is actually inactive on Alamo Jam. But as you can see on screen right now, this is what the Heart Pendant actually looks like, similar to other pendant items, and it also has the sparkle similar to the other French contest items that were awarded to the winners. But due to the scarcity of this item and it being one of a kind, makes it place number seven on this list. Number six on the list is Magenta Cat Ears. Now this item was actually glitched through the AJHQ recovery item program when recovering normal cat ears and when it was recovered to the player, it was obviously glitched into this magenta variant of the item. This item is currently three of a kind with only one active player currently playing Alamo Jam, thus making it so rare and also putting it at number six on this list. Now on to number 5 brings us to the Magenta Long Spiked Collar. Similar to the Magenta Cat Ears, this was recovered through the HHQ recovery program for items when a player gets hacked and was glitched to this Magenta variant you see here now on screen. The item is currently two of a kind with only one active player currently playing Alamo Jam, and with that and also being one of the OG Magenta items which was one of the first Magenta items to get into the game makes it so sought after and placing it at the number 5 spot on this list. Yes, 
Here at number 4 brings us to the Milky Tiara. This item is one of three beta variants of the normal tiara you see in Jim Mart clothing nowadays and was removed shortly after stores after the beta testing period of Alamo Jam ended. This item is currently five of a kind. It gets its name from the color of the base of the tiara which is this grayish white milky kind of color with the pink gem at the top of the tiara and with so little people buying this during the beta testing period and so little in the game that's what makes this number four on this list. Bring us to number three on this list is the Beta Eyeball Hat. Now this item was given out in 2010 by Animal Jam guides, which were pretty much Animal Jam moderators if you bet them in a mini game. And these were actually given out only through this and they were actually given out before normal eyeball hats came into stores. But since it was given out in October 2010, and it being a special variant of the eyeball hats, that's where it gets its beta name from. The item is currently four of a kind with only one active owner playing Animal Jam currently, making it at number three on this list. Now onto number two, a lot of people might bicker about this and have different opinions with what the number one spot is going to be, but with the people I worked with to compile this list, an overall majority of them said number two should be the Pearly Tiara, that's why I'm going with this. Similar to the Milky Tiara, this item was released into stores during the beta testing period of Animal Jam and was removed afterwards before the stable release of the game. It's often confused with the normal store variant of the tiara that can be found in Jammer clothing, with a very subtle difference with only the gem colors being different from one another, Pearly being the one with the purple gem. It is currently only two of a kind, with only one active player currently playing Animal Jam, thus putting it at the number two spot on this list. And the final item on this list is the Beta Creature Mask. Now this item gets its name from being sold in the Haunted Forest party and was removed after a couple days and replaced with a different variant of the Creature Mask. In the last following years this variant of the Creature Mask has not come back to stores since its first release. It's currently three of a kind with two active players currently playing Alamo Jam with both players expressing they're not going to be trading their item. And a lot of people do kind of argue on which is rarer the creature mask or the pearly tiara. Another thing is it's also often confused for one of the store variants of the creature mask. I will put a comparison on screen right now. But due to the scarcity of this item that's what makes it placed at number one on this list. Now to finish up this video, I am going to go over some honorable mentions that if these items were a bit rarer, they would be on this list, or they were close on being this list. First of all, all one-of-a-kind magenta items. Now, the reason why there was none on this list is because there were so many of these one-of-a-kind magenta items in this game now, that it kind of brings down the value and demand for the other ones. You know, there is certain one-of-a-kind magenta items people would definitely trade more for than others, but I feel like with the amount of one of a kind magenta items that are now in the game that it might demean other people for trading for certain one-of-a-kind magenta items if that makes any sense. Second off the rare magenta short wristband so not the diamond shop one but the rare one it's currently only two of a kind and it definitely does deserve a mention somewhat in this video and then third of all this just doesn't feel right putting a top 10 list out without this item being involved some sort of way the beta elf helmet obviously. This item has plummeted in rarity the last couple months or so due to to so many of them being in the game now but I felt like I should at least have some mention of it in this video but uh yeah guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video just keep in mind if you're watching this throughout next year and some of the rarity uh, has changed do keep in mind that this was recorded at the end of 2020 and is supposed to be a comparison of last year which was the end of 2019 so do keep that in mind but uh yeah make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this this one. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in the next one.